paper people. They'd be purple paper people. Maybe pop up purple paper people. Proper pop up purple paper people. How do you prop up proper pop up purple paper people? I hear you cry. Well, I I probably prop up proper pop up purple paper people with a proper pop up purple people paper clip. But I pre prefer appropriate adhesives as alternatives. A cheeky pack of blue tuck, just in case the paper slipped. Because I could build a pop up metropolis. But I wouldn't want to deal with all the paper people, politics, paper politicians with the paper thin policies, broken promises without appropriate apologies. That'd be a little paper me and a little paper you. And we could watch paper TV and it would all be paper view. We'd see the poppy paper wrappers, rap about a paper package, or watch paper people carriers get stuck in paper traffic on the A4. Paper. That'd be a paper princess skates, but we'd all stare at paper people. And then we'd all live in fear of Killer Jack the Paper Reaper. Because the paper propaganda propagates the people's prejudices, papers printing pictures of the photogenic terrorists. That'd be a little paper me. And a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. That'd be a pompous paper parliament who remains out of touch and who ignore the people's protests about all the paper cuts. Then, the peaceful paper protests would get blown to paper pieces by the confetti cannons manned by preemptive police. And yes, there'd still be paper money, so there'd still be paper greed, and the paper piggy bankers pocketing more than they need, purchasing the poor pourri to paper their paper properties, others live in poverty and aim to knowledge properly. A proper poor economy has so many a proper poor, but while their needs are ignored, the money goes to be wars. Origami armies and full plants for paper planes and we remain imprisoned in our own paper chains. But the greater shame is that it always seems to stay the same. What changes is who's in power, choosing how to lay the blame. They are naming names, forgetting these are names of people. Because in the end, it all comes down to people. I like people. Because even when the situation is dire, it is only ever people who are able to inspire. And on paper, it's hard to see how we all cope. But in the bottom of Pandora's box, there is still hope. And I still hope. Because I believe in people. People like my grandparents, who every single day since I was born have taken time out of their morning to pray for me. That 7,892 days straight of someone checking I'm okay. And that's amazing. People like my aunt, who puts on place with prisoners, people who are capable of genuine forgiveness, people like the persecuted Palestinians. People who go out of their way to make your life better and expect nothing in return. You see, people have potential to be powerful. Just because the people in power tend to pretend to be victims, we don't need to succumb to that system. And the paper population is no different. There's a little paper me, and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. But even if the whole world fell apart, then we still make it through. Because we are people.